Welcome back everyone I hope you're doing well And finally I did it I did a plain air painting And it was in Seseh Beach Seseh Beach is one of my favorite beach in Canggu um, Well probably closer to Pererenan than Canggu I guess this page is much more quiet than the other beach in Changu. That's why it's really nice. And at night, you can see the stars. You can see it pretty clear. Last time, uh, we had a bonfire at the beach. There was like a restaurant slash bar and they actually sell uh, woods so you can buy and they can help you to set up the bonfire it was beautiful we also brought um, sausages and marshmallow to grill yeah it was pretty fun <laughs> painting I saw a person by and she came to say hi and it was really sweet and nice I think that's one of the things that I love from Bali you get to meet with so many people from different culture they come from all over the world any part of the world so yeah it's interesting I actually <laughs> didn't expect that I wouldn't be able to focus uh, painting because <laughs> there were so many challenges first the wind it was blowing pretty hard so I have to you know keep holding my small easel and my tissues and some stuff and also I had to kneel Oh look at that sunset It is so beautiful I really love sunset in Bali It is one of the best And I also forgot to bring a few paint Oh my god <laughs> But I promise next time I'll perform better, <laughs> I will prepare better. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna fix the painting by the time I get home. But it was very pleasant, very nice sunset, very nice beach, uh, nice people around me. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. next day I went to the art store to buy some stuff that I needed before I forgot so um, I also purchased one more um, canvas hi everyone Anyway, I'm back in the studio and this is the painting I need to fix and it was a struggle. The wind kept blowing and then I didn't have a proper setup. <laughs> I had to kneel like the whole time because I couldn't see it. I was too low. I couldn't see the beach while I was painting so I had to kneel all the time it was painful after some time <laughs> 
things so next time i need to buy a proper i guess a, a very sturdy tripod for plain air painting mm, something to um it's it's an experience but it was actually it was it was fun though like it was really nice the beach it was beautiful i managed to shoot a little bit and my husband um shoot uh with with his drone he just bought back drones and i was like okay maybe you can help me to film a little bit it was nice but yeah we need to get back to this this one is mm, no 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 i actually feel like i wanna i wanna try my new pastel i just bought i wanted to try that one but i know i have to finish this one first yep let's do it honestly i Thing I have so much interest into uh, figures, painting, portraiture, all that kind of thing. And <clears throat> painting beach is, I think this one is the first time I paint beach. And <laughs> it was challenging. I didn't really know how I want to do it, you know. So I was trying to figure it out along the way while I was painting so um yeah I did <laughs> I, I tried my best um, and I've been missing uh, painting a figure um, or portrait um, so much mm, I think next week I will paint a huge one this is my lunch it was really good now back to the painting well at least i was telling myself when i made this painting i was like okay let's just think one by one first the sky let's just sort it out the sky first so i did the sky and a little mountain over there it's like a hills um but you cannot really see it clearly so at the end I was trying to make it a bit blurry and it was working actually <laughs> and yeah let me know how it turns out like you can also tell me your um, if you have any certain techniques or yeah you can tell me how do you normally paint a beach so I need to tell you this the way I fix this painting is 100% based on my memories because I forgot to take a picture, the exact picture of the area that I painted so <laughs> I use um, some of the video that I took as a reference but obviously it wasn't the exact location so yeah i pretty much using my imagination and memory <laughs> so yeah this is the final painting i hope you like it So today I'm gonna try a new medium which is um, oil pastel. It's been 
a while since the last time I used it. Uh, when I was a kid, I used it a lot. It was actually one of my favorite uh, medium as a kid, <laughs> but we'll see later. I bought a small oil pastel just to try. Um, by the time I opened the package, I could smell the special smell from it. It it bring me back to my childhood, to be honest. This time, I just want to try to draw um, a, f a small figure, nothing uh, very complicated <laughs> because I don't know how it will turn out and the thing that I realize is for me, I think it's very personal. I don't know about you guys, maybe some of you really love um, oil pastel but for me, I still love my oil paint so much like I love it, like I think that's my favorite um, but it was a nice experience to try it again next time, I will draw something different I wonder how does it look if I use it for um, Studio Ghibli painting. When you talk about Studio Ghibli, people always think about um, this medium, uh, gouache or watercolor. They are like a couple, gouache and Studio Ghibli. So beautiful. <laughs> Did you know that oil pastels were initially created for a completely different purpose? It's a fun fact. Um, they were first developed uh, by the French company as a product called Cray Pass, which was intended to be used as a marking crayon for industrial applications. However, artists soon discovered the vibrant colors and unique properties of oil pastels. That's the reason why they adopted it as a popular art medium. And over here, I couldn't find any color that I needed, so I just put it like that. So, um, anyway, this is just a trial, and thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate every single comments in my video and I'm really glad to read all those comments and 
I will see you again next week. I will paint something big with oil paint.